My name is Jim England, I'm Managing Director of Protex Pest Control Services and what we're trying to do is help people at the moment during this situation where we can't carry out a regular treatment for moth infestations. So we've put together a few little tips and advice that we hope will help. Once the lockdown situation is over, we'll be able to commence treatment as usual, carry out spray treatment. But what we've put together, we hope will alleviate some of the symptoms of a common clothes moth. This is a little sandy kind of golden coloured moth about a centimetre, a centimetre and a half long. And basically, it's not the moth, the adult moth that's the problem, it's the larvae. The larvae chew on fabrics, carpets, clothing, anything that's got a natural fibre content. So one of the areas that you're gonna find a lot of activity would typically be behind a door like this. When the door's left in the open position, you've got the through traffic, but there's no foot traffic behind that bit there. So what we would recommend is close the door over Get the vacuum. And really work it into this wall floor junction because this is where the larvae are gonna be active. So items like chests of drawers, heavy furniture, wardrobes, bookcases, this is where you're gonna get a lot of activity. So what you'd ideally wanna do in this situation is empty the cupboard, remove it, and again, get the vacuum in there and really work it into all these little nooks and crannies. So another handy tip is you can use something like this. This is just a regular steamer. You can buy them online. It's not a specialist piece of kit. Um, the extreme heat that the steam generates will kill any larvae or eggs. And again, it's important to make sure you really work it into these little nooks and crannies. So. Obviously make sure you read the instructions before you use it and uh, you follow the manufacturer's guidelines. But basically, getting that steam into these nooks and crannies will really, really help the situation along. Something else that's really useful when you're trying to combat a moth problem is these vacuum bags. You can buy them online, they're not expensive. Put your winter clothes, your woolens, anything that's got a high wool content, natural fibre. Put it in the bag, seal it closed, then you take your vacuum and you basically extract the air from it. This may take a while, so I won't go through the full process. Once you've extracted the air from the bag, this will collapse right down. Typically they have a little cap that you put back on to seal it. Once that bag is in a vacuum, once the clothes in there are sealed, you're not gonna get any activity on those clothes and it makes it really easy to store them. Something else we'd recommend doing with clothing, especially delicate stuff that you don't necessarily wanna spend money getting dry cleaned, you can put it in a bag, put it in the freezer. The extreme cold will certainly kill off the larvae over a couple of days. And again, you've not got any sort of outlay financially. 